Okay guys, good morning So Hello vlog, welcome to my guys Okay And now um, I'm going to explain What is ER model Hospital management system Okay So an ER model Ang sinasabi natin Entity relationship This is it Describes interrelated things of interest in a specific domain of knowledge. A basic ER model is composed of entity types which classify the things of interest and specific relationship that can exist between entities, instances of those entities types. Okay? Pag sinabi natin kasi uh, entity ay nabubuhay. Okay? Yung entity, sila daw po kasi, yung entity relationship model, sila daw kasi mga bagay na naglala, ah, mga naglalarawan ng mga magkakaugnay na bagay. Okay? So now, I'm going to explain this. And I have a diagram. This diagram, okay? Uh, let explain uh, this. This is my diagram. Okay? Okay, let, this is my diagram na ginawa. So now, I'm going to explain this. So kung nakikita nyo, meron tayong rectangle, diamond, and oblong. Okay? So now, what is rectangle? Rectangle represents entities. Sila mga entities, yung mga nabubuhay. Okay? <laughs> and then, we have a oblong. Ano ba yung oblong? Ano yung attributes? Oblong rep oblong represents attributes, okay? And then diamond. Ano ba yung diamond? Okay, nabebenta. No. This is is the relationship ng isang entities. Okay? So now, I'm going to explain this. I'm going to x again and then get it back. So doctors Bilang en isang entities, I have many attributes. Okay? Marami akong attributes. Isang doctor, yung oblong, yan yung attributes niya. Ano yung phone number niya? Ano yung doc number? Sa doc number. Kasi maraming mga, ano, doctor, di ba? Mga license, kumbaga. Ganon. Ano yung qualification mo? At anong department yung pinapasukan mo? Okay? At, meron siyang one to many relationship na tinatawag. Yan yung tinatawag natin one to many relationship. Meron tayong regular doctor as an enti entity to and then doctor and call. At sa regular doctor, meron siyang attributes na salary and then sa doctor and call is qualification and payment. Okay? Mode of payment to. Alam ko mode of payment sa kanya eh. Okay? And sa regular doctor, kasi syempre regular ka na, meron ka ng salary. Okay? And, doctor on call, kapag meron kang ooperahan na, eto na, ano yung qualification mo? Yung ooperahan, mga nganak, ang qualification mo, um, dentist. No, that's wrong, okay? So now, uh, uh, meron tayong diamond dito. We have the diamond here. The diamond represents, again, in relationship. Wala ka nun. <laughs> So, doctors have a relationship between department. Okay? This rectangle. So, yung department, meron siyang attributes. Saan yung facilities? Saan yung location? At anong pangalan ng department mo? Magkakasama yung mga magkaka-department. Parang uh, sa school, anong department mo? IT? Uh, BA? Criminology? Ayun yung department name yon, Okay? And then, ito yung relationship niya. Saan siya works in? Saan siya nagtatrabaho? Okay? And then, meron pa tayong, ito kasi, itong ganito, yung may guhit na ganyan, yan yung one to many relationship na tinatawag. Okay? Marami siyang relationship. Hindi ko nalagyan ito na ano eh. And then, this one, check up. Kapag mayroong pasyente na magpapacheck up, Okay, ito yung relationship nilang ng patient between doctors. Ano yung diagnosis ng doktor sa kanya? 
Ano yung status mo? Ano yung treatment na ibibigay sa'yo? Pag magpapacheck up ka. Okay? And then, meron pang isa na want to mean relationship. We have an operate. Anong type of operation ang gagawin sa'yo? Pag sinabing type of operation, uh, mga nga na ka, so, ang ipapadala, ang uh, mag-oopera sa'yo, dentist, no, that's wrong. So, we have an uh, operate para alam na alam, di ba? Yung type of operation mo, and kung nasa in condition ka pa ba, malmana, kailan yung op kailan ka operahan at anong medicines yung kakailanganin para sa'yo. Okay? So now, this is it. Uh, yung doctors, meron siyang relationship between patient na check up and then operate. So we have entities here as a patient. Okay? Yung patient, Bilang isang patient, di ba, yung mga living creatures na namubuhay sa mundo, parang ikaw, uh, merong attributes sila na tinatawag natin, patient age, patient number, uh, uh, ka, uh, ka sex, address mo, anong pangalan mo, wala pa kalaga nito. Okay? Pagpapasok na sa ospital, ayaw na operahan ka agad, syempre may magtatanong, anong pangalan, anong pangalan po? Oh, Lista na agad nila. Okay? And then, magkaiba itong patient number. Uh, ito yung pH number. Okay? Magkaiba sila. Ito yung cell phone number. CP to. And then, ito yung patient number katulad ng doc number. Okay? Um, kasi, need na need dyan para hindi sila malito. Okay? And then, this patient have many relationship between patient admit and regular patient. Kapag yung patient na admit, ito yung entities na to, Ano yung babayaran niya? Nagbayad ba siya ng advanced? Ano yung patient number? Like this. Ano yung room number niya? Saan siya operahan? Uh, katulad doon. Kailan siya na-admit? Okay? Ano yung sa department? Explain ko kanina. And then, ano yung mode of payment? Pag sinabi natin mode of payment, ito yung mga, example again, mga kanaka. Okay? Pero ang babayaran mo, yung pagpagamot ng ipin? No. Okay? Pero meron tayong mode of payment. Okay? And sa regular patient, um, these entities, meron tayong treatment na ibibigay sa kanya. Yung mga bibisita, ano yung diagnosis ng doktor sa kanya, at ano yung medicines. Yan yung mga attributes ng isang regular patient. Okay? And the next, the patient have a relationship between the patient discharge. Okay? Itong entities na to. Siyempre, kapag yung patient lalabas na, meron, siya, meron yung doktor magbibigay ng advice, treatment advice. Magbibigay pa ng treat, ano yung treatment na binigay sa kanya? Ano yung medicines na binigay sa kanya? Ano yung mode of payment, katulad nung kanina? And then, kailan siya na-discharge? Okay? Yan yung mga uh, attributes ng isang patient discharge na lalabas na. Okay, that's what, uh, that's all. The ER relationship model. Okay, entity relationship model. So, para mas maunawaan mo, let's me explain myself. Uh, katulad ko, living creature, yung nabubuhay ba? Ako, let me example, I am an entities. I am a entities. Okay? And I have, at, uh, I have uh, a relationship this one, like this, I have a relationship between my families, my dad, and my mom, okay, and I have an attributes, ano yung phone number ko, ano ko, uh, uh, ano yung height, ano yung age, like that, so that's all, that is uh, entity relationship model, our project, and Salamat po sa pakilig. Thank you.